missing mandibular first molar long standing edentulous side with adequate amount of width and the length also so one single implant with a res uh, screw retained respiration has been planned for this case this is a biolen surgical kit with minimum basic tools required for a implant case so this one is a ratchet the lancet drill or also known as a marking drill then we have spiral drills gradually enlarging in dimension from 2 mm diameter till 5.2 each of these drills have the markings corresponding to the size of the implant which the company is providing from 6 8 10 11.5 13 16 okay. depending on the size which has been selected the depth of the osteotomy is being carried out okay. so following the pilot drill we check the angulation as well as the depth of the osteotomy with the help of a paralleling pin then we proceed on enlarging it to the larger size diameter then this one is the implant driver which will be connected to the ratchet and the fixture or the implant will be driven into the osteotomy site this one is a unigrip hex drive which is basically used for placing the cover screw or unwinding it placing healing abutment alveolar nerve block and lingual nerve block now we will be giving the long buccal nerve block to anesthetize the buccal soft tissue and simultaneously the infiltration to achieve vessel constriction so that we get a clear that way इस तरफ देखिए हमने नहीं दिया एनस्टेशन इस तरफ जो प्रेशर फील होता है इतना पता चलेगा ओके सो ए मिड क्रिस्टल इंसेशन इज गिवन एंड एक्सटेंडिंग इन द जिंजावल क्रिवाइस anterior and one teeth posterior and the mucoperiosteal flap is raised प्रेशर लगता है इसमें टू एक्सपोज ऑनली दिलर क्रस्ट देर इज एडिक्वेट अमाउंट ऑफ वेड हियर बोथ मीजोडिस्टली एंड बकुलिंग वाली सो ए फाइव डायमीटर इम्प्लांट इज प्लैंड एक्जैक्टली इन द मिड एरिया ऑफ द इडेंशियल साइड for the section here so 
this is the center area of the bridge both from Bakkal to Lingual side as well as from Mizan to Distal. So with lancet bar we just perforate the cortical, cortical plate. So you see the resistance it provides. So now it dips into the narrow space and easily it enters into the cancellous wave. Ten millimeters. So we will be going for the ostratomy of ten point five point five mm subcrestal. 6, 8, 10, so below this. The markings will be much more clearly visible when the drill is running. Check with the, your paralleling pin. Okay. If you see these two teeth, the second molar is slightly tilted on the mesial side. So if you try considering the second molar, you are need to drill at an angle. But if you see these teeth, it is parallel to the ostotomy. The ostotomy is parallel to these teeth. If you start drilling at this one, you end up in placing an implant at an angle. Then once the restoration is given, they end up in having a bone loss. Now, all the next consecutive drills needs to enter in the ostotomy site in the same axis, the way you have drilled the 2mm drill. Unless and until you want to change the angulation, which, need, or which needs to be corrected. This is a 3.2 drill. Then this is 3.65. This is a four point two. This is five point two drill, but only it is used here to widen the ostotomy. Near the crest level, not going to the depth of the ostotomy. implant what they give with the this mount so you take along with the mount and put it to the side and just keep on tightening to the level it stops
the ratchet now this ratchet the torque has been set to 45 50 okay. so this much has been achieved and still around 2 millimeters or 2.5 millimeters of the implant needs to be submerged okay. so if we continue with the same process what happens the there will be a pressure necrosis in the alveolar bone so we take out the implant because the osteotomy is not complete and few more millimeters it needs to be drilled in the depth Plant has been submerged 0.5 millimeters below the alveolar crest bone. Now, since it has gone at a very high torque, again few threads it will be unwind. Then again, reposition till the level where the is achieved. So that will be the final position of the implant. So the platform needs to merge or 0.5 mm below the alveolar crest. If you are having a slope like this, then some areas it will be deeper, some areas it will be 0.5 mm depth to the alveolar crest. Take the cover spoon. Operatively, also the angulation of your implant. You can connect the implant driver or your hex driver that shows you the position or the angulation of your future restoration abutment. And this one goes exactly parallel to the premolar. So, the more straight it is to the occlusion load, the longer the implant survives in the bone. Say that you won't get a Redundant problems with the premolars or the molar. So the initial sutures always needs to be placed next to the teeth. Then the closing of the pedentulous site area.
molar. and one in the center area of the utensil space.